Hi friends, it's Miss Amanda from the Monrovia Public Library and in this week's Craft Corner we're making clothespin sharks. They're really fun and easy and they have a surprise inside their mouths. Um, nom, 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 nom. Just a little fishy snack. They're really fun and a lot of fun to play with so let me show you how to do it right now. For this craft, you're going to need a clothespin, you're going to need some googly eyes, something that's strong. This is a little piece of foam to hold up the fish inside of our shark's mouth, but you could also use a stick or just some couple pieces of paper put together, but I have this little piece of foam, so that's what I'm going to use. You're going to need some construction paper. I have blue for the body of my shark, white for the teeth, and orange for the little fish inside of his mouth. And then you're going to need some glue. I have a glue stick, and then you could also use liquid glue. No matter what you have, you can put this craft together. And we're going to have a pencil so we can draw the body of our shark. The first thing we're going to do is draw the body of our shark. So you're going to start with a triangle shape so a straight line down and then a line coming out from that as a triangle and then for the body we're going to do a half moon shape or like half a football so just up and down and that's this is going to be the top half of our shark so we're going to extend our triangle down a little bit so he has a little bit more body and then you're just going to draw a straight line to attach the front of the body to the tail and then we're going to draw the bottom half. So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to leave a little bit of space because we're going to cut them apart between the two. But what you're going to do is draw a straight line down this time and then connect it to make a triangle. And then a, just a smaller half moon shape for the body. And we're going to connect them just like we did before. So now you have an upper half of your shark and a bottom half of your shark. And now it's trying to draw the fins. So for the bottom fin, we're just going to do a little triangle just like that. And for the top fin, we're going to do kind of like a, a what they call a dorsal fin. And this one kind of curves a little and then you want to come in. So you have a nice shark shaped fin. So you come up and you curve it and then you do an inner curve down to make a dorsal fin. And now we're gonna cut both of these out. of your pieces cut out it's time to make the teeth so we're going to grab our top half and line it up with some white paper and then just draw some spiky teeth just like that and all you have to do now is cut those teeth out Once you have your spiky teeth, we're going to glue them on. So for our top, we're going to want feet, teeth facing down. So you're going to just glue them just like this up at the front half of your, your shark. And you want them facing down so that they can chomp down. So glue it on just like that. And then since you cut out your spiky teeth, you should have some extra spikes from where you cut it off. So all you need to do to make your bottom set of teeth is just trim it a little and you're ready to go with your bottom half of teeth. And we're going to put those on the bottom half and we're going to glue it on right there. And then your shark has some nice chompy teeth. Now is also a good time to put our googly eye on. So we're just going to glue it right there so he has a nice eye right on the top half of our shark now we're almost done but we want to make the fish that's going to go inside of our shark's mouth so to do that we're going to grab our orange paper we're going to draw a straight line and then we're going to kind of make a triangle but not all the way out from that and then make a big oval that connects to the triangle and that's our fish shape and then we're going to cut it out and glue it to our little piece of foam so we can put it inside of our shark's mouth. Once you have your little fish attached to your foam or your piece of paper or whatever stick you're going to use to hold it up, what we're going to do is we're just going to glue it to the bottom half but on the inside. So you're going to flip your shark's bottom half over and then you're just going to glue your little fish right to there so that it's on the inside and you can't see the stick as well. 
once you have that little fish glued on in there so that it's attached nice and good and you have a cute little fishy inside your shark's mouth, it's time to attach it to our clothespin. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach to these parts of the clothespin so that when it opens, it makes the shark's mouth open. And all we need to do is to glue the bottom half to the bottom piece and the top half to the top piece. While you're gluing, you just want to make sure that your back fins are lined up. That way it creates one shape when it's closed. But you just want to stick your pieces of shark right on to the open ends of your clothes pin. Just like that. Once the glue's dry, you're all set to play with your new chompy friend. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Thanks for making crafts with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun and that you can make this clothespin shark at home. If you do, please send me a picture on social media because I would love to see it. Just tag the library at Monrovia Library. And also, don't forget to check out our calendar because we have lots of really fun summer activities coming up, including my Crafternoon Hangout, where you can get a wonderful craft kit that's full of supplies, colored pencils, scissors, stickers, glue, all kinds of great stuff. And then we're going to hang out online on Zoom and make a bunch of stuff and just have a fun time. So if you love crafts and you want to hang out with your fellow craft enthusiasts, please check out the calendar and register for my Crafternoon Hangout. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!